made a few mistakes coming towards the end of that second half, or the first half. All right, how about the John cutback by John Matthews? There he goes. You are not going to catch him. Touchdown. 53 yards on the touchdown run. And that puts him over 200. <laughs> well, another week of high school football has come and gone. And once again, we come to you here on ISPN.TV along with Marty Cesario. I'm Brian Roth. Three games on CET coming up this week. Of course, you can catch them all. Comcast Channel 5 in the Denver metro area and up north. Comcast Channel 4 for the folks down there in the Springs and Pueblo. Thursday night, 3A. One of our only 3A games we're going to do this year is Centaurus over Arvada. It's a very good Centaurus football team. They're 1-1 one one of the season. They open up in the top 10. According to the Denver Post, of course, we don't do our 3A top 10s here at CET, but they're very, very good. They're big up front. They have some playmakers. Watch out. 32-0, the final score in that game. Then we were at Aurora Public School Stadium on Friday night. And, Marty, i got to tell you, Rangeview looks really good. They played Greeley West, our top-ranked team, in 4A, very tough in Week 1. They hammered their rival, Gateway, in Week number 2. That was a great guy. Jonathan Matthews, that's a name you're going to want to remember. He's a very good running back for a good Rangeview team. I think they probably are the favorites in that Central Metro League. Then we were down in the Springs on Saturday. Marty, that was a game you were down at. It was a Highlands Ranch Rampart. It was a wet one. Yeah, the quagmire was in the end zone, and we definitely had sheets of rain coming down. But uh, credit two squads, both of them kind of resilient, battling through some of those issues with the weather. Highlands Ranch, though, pulled it off. Uh, you know, credit the style of play Coach Gorham has, and and uh, you know the defense stepped up and slot back Joe Hansley got it done. Highlands Ranch now one and one with only two teams undefeated now in the Southern League. Highlands Ranch right in the mix. You know, and and Rampart that's a football team that uh, played Ponderosa tough in the first mm -hmm. week, and they played Highlands Ranch tough there in the second week. But uh, they're 0 and 2, and I know their numbers are a little bit down here this year. Okay, all right, here we go. Week number three, top 10. We start in Class 4. A. Not much changes there as you look at it. Greeley West. Still our top ranked team. Boy, what they did to Broomfield this week is impressive. 28 to 6 over Broomfield. Meanwhile, Heritage led by Mitch Greibel. Three touchdown passes. They stay at two. Pine Creek. Monarch went to California. They get the win in California. They're 2 0. Wheat Ridge. I'll tell you what, that Kyle Muse looks like he's going to be a pretty good replacement for Parker Orms. Montrose was idle. Fountain Ford Carson Marty, they're new into our pool. And, uh, you know, we didn't have them in our pool at first, but they have two impressive wins to open up the season. You know, you got to give them love because they've got a little pedigree as a program. Certainly they were a quality squad last year, and here they are. 3 and 0 to open up so I think you got to put the Trojans in there. Yeah, absolutely. So Mitch Johnson and the uh, Trojans, they have a very good football team after making a great run last year. The rest of the top 10 and 4 as you look at it, get Longmont, Littleton, and Dakota Ridge Broomfield falls out after that loss to Greeley West. Okay, moving on to class 5A now and Mullen. They stay at number 1 and uh, they're going to take on Rockhurst here but Boy, they just destroyed Smoky Hill. Yeah, we're talking about a squad that scored 122 points in their three wins. They've given up only two second-half touchdowns offensively, defensively. They're clicking. They're a juggernaut. They're going to take on Rockhurst and Casey. And then they've got a, a nice light schedule early on. You know, they're going to be on top for quite a while. Columbine, Bear Creek, both cruised easy victories. Thunder Ridge knocked off their rival Mountain Vista. But Chatfield, they needed... A big touchdown catch from Andrew Hood, four minutes to go. They knocked off Ponderosa, and that could be a Ponderosa team that might find their way into the top ten at some point this year. You know, I, I like Ponderosa. The Mustangs certainly have a great offense and, and some great defensive players. You know, collectively, we'll see what their defense does. But for Chatfield, you know, even though you might be surprised that, you know, they're in a couple of tight ball games, but look at them front-loading a very, a, a very tough set of tests, so to speak, with Dakota Ridge and and now Ponderosa moving into the to the you know the Big Eight schedule. I think you know the Chargers are definitely a team that deserves to be where they're at, and definitely a squad to watch out for as we move closer and closer and closer to November. Yeah, as we get to the middle here of the top ten in Class 5A, start time to talk about injuries. Kenny Bill is going to be out at least six weeks for Fairview broken collarbone. That's a huge loss, but Fairview continues to roll. They won their league opener. Grandview, Arvada West, Pomona, and Cherry Creek. Kane Coulter, torn labrum, and his throwing shoulder. Not going to play quarterback anymore, but caught a touchdown pass and rushed for a touchdown, but they would fall, missing on a two-point conversion to Eagle Crest. Yeah, a lot of challenges ahead for them. Obviously, having the quarterback go down or at least having to be moving positions is going to be a, a huge test for them. 
with Cherry Creek, you know, with where we've got them sitting right now, you know, they beat Smoky Hill, not so hot right now. They lost to Eagle Crest, and they take on Monarch, who's number four in 4A. So we're going to find out coming up this week, I think, how Cherry, Creek's, Cherry Creek is going to respond to yeah. some of those challenges. Cherry Creek stays in our top 10 at number 10. That'll do it for Marty Cesario. I'm Brian Roth. We'll talk to you next week right here on ISPN.TV.